The world operating as planned. Subscribe to the Shalom ENT YouTube channel. That is C-H-I-L-O-M-E-N-T at YouTube. Thank you for your support and stand tall for your freedom. Members of Congress participate in Iran war games. We know the Pentagon has conducted war games to examine the casualties and consequences of U.S. military strike against Iran. We should too. Do you think that, that it's going to take an attack for people to see what the possibility is of this threat? You know, Ambassador, I worry that the, the world is in denial about this guy. Between his desire to get nuclear weapons, his threats against Israel, are we in denial about him? We're just starting a war right today. There was a vote in the Senate today. Joe Lieberman, who authored the Iraq resolution, has authored another resolution, and it is essentially a big leap to let George Bush go to war with Iran. On Wednesday, September 26th, the U.S. Senate voted 76-22 in favor of the Kyle Lieberman Amendment. It states, the United States should designate Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as a foreign terrorist organization. Quote, we have not seen any undeclared facilities operating in Iran. Did you know Iran is permitted under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty to have facilities for a civilian nuclear power? It's their right. We are conducting military operations inside Iran right now. I, I really believe that people don't understand the danger that this country poses to the world. They're ignorant of the Persian situation. They don't know the culture. They don't know what's going on there. And I feel that this is the most dangerous country in the world. When you realize the difference between reality and what some people are talking on TV about. And at that point in time, my concern is that we will use nuclear weapons to break the backbone of Iranian resistance. And it may not work. But what it will do is this. It will unleash the nuclear genie. And so for all those Americans out there tonight who say, you know what, taking on Iran is a good thing. I just told you if we take on Iran, we're going to use nuclear weapons. And if we use nuclear weapons, the genie ain't going back in the bottle until an American city is taken out by an Islamic weapon in retaliation. So tell me, you want to go to war with Iran? Pick your city. Pick your city. Tell me which one you want gone. Seattle? L.A.? Boston, New York, Miami, pick one, because at least one's going. And that's something we should all think about before we march down this path of insanity that George Bush has us headed on. GE owns NBC, MSNBC as well. GE profits from the war. Cell phone users beware, Big Brother may be listening. The Federal Bureau of Investigation can now hear everything you say, even when the cell phone is turned off. Welcome back to the most news in the morning. The government taking a big new step, looking to build a huge database of people's physical characteristics. The FBI is taking on a billion dollar project to gather fingerprints, palm patterns, even digital pictures of faces. Eventually, it could expand to include iris patterns, face shape patterns, scars, even information about how you walk and talk. Ron Paul and his colleagues in the House were given 15 minutes on the House intranet, the internal 
internet for members of Congress and their staffs to read the Patriot Act. It's 315 pages long. So as you can see, even without habeas corpus, at least one-tenth of the Bill of Rights, I guess that's the Bill of Right now, remains virtually intact. Number three is still safe. We can rest no, uh, easy knowing that we will never ever have to quarter soldiers in our homes as long as the Third Amendment still stands strong. The president can just take care of that with a signing statement. Although the moderators will fail to ask, Dennis will find a way to address some of the constitutional issues, such as habeas corpus, Military Commissions Act, warrantless wiretapping, problems with the Patriot Act, and torture. All of these are steps on the road to a fascist state. We call sneak and peek. The FBI can break into your house. Break into your house and make it look like it was a burglary and plant a bug under the kitchen table or on the bedpost or behind the toilet and not have to tell you about this for 18 months. CTV in Canada has obtained a list the Canadian government has given to its diplomats, instructing them how to deal with Canadian prisoners in countries that use torture. Countries the list says that include Syria, Iran, and the United States of America. You gotta be careful, America. We're losing our democracy. It's time for us to save it. But it's not so much as a sinister conspiracy, it's just knowledge is out there. If we look for it, you'll realize that our national sovereignty is under threat. Congressman Paul, thank you. And a wish list from business interests that borders remain open during a flu pandemic. Worse, critics say foreign policy elites are promoting a European-style union. What they're doing is creating a brave new world, uh, an Orwellian world, uh, in which uh, the will of the people is absolutely irrelevant. He said it's almost like we're intentionally destroying the dollar. Uh, I agree, Glenn. I mean, I was ready to send Vincenti Fox a signed copy of the book and thank him because he validated every major thesis in the late, great USA. We're headed exactly down the path Europe went down, starting with trade agreements, beginning with a coal and steel agreement in Europe 50 years ago, then advancing towards a European common market, a Treaty of Maastricht, the European Union, and 2002, the Euro. We're now going from NAFTA, the Security and Prosperity Partnership in North America. Our elite are talking about a North American community, and they've even named our new currency the Amero. And there is a move on uh, toward a North American Union, just like early on there was a, a move on for a European Union. I'm amused by the difference between what actually takes place in the meetings and what some are trying to say takes place. It's, it's quite comical, actually, when you realize the difference between reality and what some people are talking on TV about. It involves a government-issued ID card that may cause enormous headaches for ordinary Americans and is already being criticized by privacy advocates. In the new legislation, the, the, the national ID card is in it. It takes three or four pages to describe it, and it will be connected with our driver's licenses. The states will be instructed on exactly what they have to do. Social security numbers will be used. Some type of a physical proof, such as fingerprints or retinal prints, have to be on it. We have a Florida family who are really pioneers in a brave new world. They have volunteered to be the first ever to have microchip identification devices implanted into their body. The latest technology for identifying people at the point of sale, for identifying people when they make purchases, is actually the implantable chip that you can actually embed directly into human flesh. Dr. Priest inserts the RFID tag. With this implant, medical personnel will be able to remotely access Carrie's healthcare history. I feel so sci-fi. I feel so sci-fi. I feel so sci-fi. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. It's just knowledge is out there if we look for it. When you realize the difference between reality and what some people are talking on TV about.